blackening is kind of a continuation of the uh, the nothing to lose attitude that we took on the last record that we did. I think it's got the same kind of fire that we started when we started making music as a band in the first place. I think that just totally translated in the music and you, you feel it. I mean, there's a, there's a hunger, almost a starvation that takes on a kind of a life of its own and we've totally um, continued that on this record. We all basically came up with ideas and stuff, but we didn't have any kind of preconceived notions of what we should do, you know? We just went with what felt right. When we made this last record and just made it for ourselves with the idea that we were not gonna make music for any other reason than the feeling that we get from it. And as you get older, you don't have as much to prove to anybody. And this is basically for us, by us. Our fans love what we do because of that fact. We do it for us and we do it honestly for us. And so we end up with something that we feel deeply and that translates to the fans. They feel it as deeply. Whatever you want to do. That sounds good, man. All right. I'm just going to go with the flow and ride the fucking snake. <laughs> I got my snake spurs on and I got my snake saddle and I'm you're fucking ready to ride the you're snake. You're snake. As far as influences go, you know, we're kind of, you know, we're kind of so influenced by the same thing. You know, I think like Machine Head has kind of a, a core sound. You know, we try and stay within that core, but like try and like, you know, bring in influences that are modern or make it, you know, like just different and try and like mix it up. You know, like our goal has always been to never really make the same record twice and to like try and keep on, you know, pushing boundaries and just trying to do something exciting. But ultimately, it always still has that same core of sound. You know, there's a lot of dark lyrics and a lot of more kind of social commentary, like, you know, kind of getting away from the recent past where there was more like introspective lyrics and lyrics about like, you know, things that happened to like my life or people around me, you know, back to the kind of more social commentary that happened to I burn my eyes. <laughs> That's all I do. That's all he does. Either that or I track guitars. You could write you could put a book together with these lyrics, man. Rob and Phil write a lot of riffs. See the thing the thing about Rob and Phil is they have a very good chemistry together and um, they can play off of each other very well. But each one of them has a really good idea of arrangement. We have a really good chemistry together as a as a band, you know. We have we all bring something to the table. The things that do get used seem totally organic and just like they belong there you know what I mean and it's like I think that is because of the chemistry that we have as a group fucking Keaton yeah, sorry, man. fucking Canadian border it's been really fucking cool man it's been really it, it's unlike anything anything we've ever accomplished you know it's it's by far the most ambitious complex dynamic thing we've ever ever tried and it's uh it's pretty exciting i have high hopes for our fans and i actually i think that our fans and i think heavy metal fans in general can really allow their brains to to let the music take them on a journey and ultimately that's what we're hoping to do is to take the listener on a journey and i think they like where they're gonna go